Hey everybody, this is just a video about some of these changes in the asylum process that the Biden administration has recently implemented. Check it out. Hey everybody. All right, asylum is a process where individuals who are afraid of persecution or violence back home file a case in the United States, go through a system where they have an interview or they see a judge and they present their case. The Biden administration made two major changes recently to the asylum process. And the first one's a pretty big one. It was a change to the migrant protocols which are done down at the border. Essentially, uh, the last president said, hey, you're not allowed to come in the United States, stay along the border in a camp or something, and we will try and do your case there. Uh, that unfortunately, you know, while the idea behind that was we don't know if you're allowed to get asylum, so we don't want you to come inside the United States, that idea, that concept might sound like it makes sense. The problem is we have a procedural process called due process, which requires us to follow certain kinds of patterns and procedures. And in the MPP process, the asylum seekers were the number one people getting due process violations in, in a multitude of ways. As attorneys, we weren't able to help them. We weren't able to talk to them. They didn't have any legal counsel. They were often taken in chains to a courtroom where they talked to an attorney for two or three minutes and that was it. So that system, while it might have had a good motivation, actually just failed. It failed to meet any standards of fairness or justice. And because of that, Biden threw it out. At this point, they'll be doing interviews at the border and deciding either people can come inside or be detained or be let in and go to court in the United States. This has been the process for many, many years, and Biden has put that process back in place. Another part they're adding to asylum is going to be um, a change in the, in the fact that individuals can still qualify for asylum if they're the victims of domestic violence. Now, this is a really complicated kind of area of law because it might sound to you like it makes no sense, but the truth is there is a, there's court cases and precedent that handle specifically how uh, individuals who are subjected to domestic violence abroad can actually qualify because there are certain countries where women complain and then they are, are not helped or perhaps even subjected to more abuse and violence by the police themselves. And in fact, I have a case just like that I've had for many, many years. So what Biden has done is open the door once again, point out how domestic violence can still work um, as, a, a, as a process in, in, in asylum and left it to the courts and the individual cases to be sorted out the way they have for many, many years. So I look at this as a return to something that has an element of fairness in it. And that's something very, very American. All right, guys, I hope this helps you out and makes, uh, gives you a little bit of a better understanding of what your case can be. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks. Bye.